win. Like I told you last night, now, winning, winning takes a commitment, a total commitment. You've done everything you've had to do to prepare yourself to win right up to now. If the football team is ever ready to play a game, it's you. It's you. Now it's what you do in the next 60 minutes in Kansas. Want to win a game with defense, great specialty teams, and offense will run the football. Never quit. I don't care how tough, don't panic. You'll find a way to win. Might not happen right away. Might take a quarter, it might take two quarters. It might all explode in the second half. <clears throat> but it will happen. <laughs> when that football's in your arm, you make something happen. downfield blocks because I want to see some long scores. Catch up for the Danny execute. We ask this in the name of Jesus, in whom we place our trust. Amen. Amen. Uh, right, Steve, are yours? Johnny Shell. <coughs> And here come the Mountaineers. This is Jack Fleming at Mountaineer Field for the season opener against the Villanova Wildcats. Coach Frank Signetti has his charges fired up for this game. As a near-capacity crowd looks on, let's go down to the field for the coin toss. wind is blowing at the back of the kicker and the game's underway. Wayne Woods bobbles the ball at the 5, runs out over the 10 to the 20 and is hauled down at the 30. Kendra takes the snap, takes, he fires to Steve Lewis, the junior wide receiver from Hurricane. The handoff goes to Lumley. Fumble, there's a scramble for the football. It's finally recovered by junior guard Tom Antion. Bill McKenzie will attempt a 44-yard field goal. The kick is up. It's good. Genra back to pass. It's complete on the right side to Steve Lewis at the Villanova 48. The pitch goes to Riley. He's out over the 40. He's finally brought down at the 31-yard line. Kendra sets up. He snaps a quick one to Woods on the right side. Second and goal to go at the Villanova one. Easily leaps. He's over for the touchdown. The freshman from Charleston scores the Mountaineers' first touchdown of the season. Here's the snap. Kendra drops back in the pocket. He fires to Lewis for 17. And it's Walter Easley over the 10 to the 8. The give is to Easley. He's over for his second touchdown of the day. The Mountaineers have taken control of the ball game. Third quarter, Kendra lost one to reserve end. Paul Holland, touchdown, West Virginia. They're lined up 
for the point after. Lundman will be the holder. He takes the step. He keeps. And he scores two from the muddle huddle. Kenzie tries for his second field goal of the day. The kick is up. It's good. West Virginia wins big, 28 to 7. I sat down before the season and explained the schedule to our uh, football team. I felt like there were three great teams on our schedule. That was Pitt, Maryland, and Penn State. Then I felt like Kentucky and Boston College were going to be real good football teams. Teams that their program was further along than we were, had more experience, had more maturity, and we were going to have to play real well to, to beat those people. Then VPI was a very veteran club coming back. Uh, they were going to be a good football team. We had trouble with them the past two years and had almost the identical football team back. I felt like we had an edge on teams like Richmond, Villanova, and Temple. Fourth quarter, and Richmond leads 6-3, to three, but Bill McKenzie is in to attempt to tie the score. A 36-yard kick is up, and it's good. Richmond threatening, Shaw rolls out. His pass is intercepted by Johnny Shell. The Mountaineers have the ball with only seconds left on the clock. Kendra drops back. He throws. Complete to Riley. Down on the 26-yard line. Dan Kendra fires over the middle, just past the outstretched hands of Tommy Bowden. Incomplete. 11 seconds left in the game, and the miracle worker, Bill McKenzie, is set for a 45-yard attempt. There's the kick. It's good pandemonium at Mountaineer Field. West Virginia wins a thriller. You want your team to be patient. You want them to play with poise. You want them to always think they've got a chance to win out there. Like I talked to our youngsters about defeat. And the greatest example of this is the Pitt game in 1975 and a Richmond game this past season where defeat to me is mental. And a football team is never defeated until they accept it in their mind. I think any time one of your players out there no longer believes that we can't win, then you're going to be defeated because it takes 11 men doing their job to win. And I think that great win over Pitt in 1975 where it didn't look like we had any chance to win when Ron Lee had that fumble, but yet our defense went in there four downs and forced them to punt. Offensively, we go in there with about 24 seconds left on the clock. We complete a pass get the ball out of bounds, we get down and Bill McKenzie kicks that uh, field goal for that great win. Same thing happened at Richmond this year. The score was 6-6, and Richmond has a football, and they're driving. And Johnny Shell makes that great interception out there. Well, if Johnny Shell would have admitted defeat in his mind and wouldn't have made that play, then we could have never had the opportunity for Bill McKenzie to have that kick and win 9-6. We're in the bicentennial city of Philadelphia, where the West Virginia Mountaineers bring a 2-2 record into Franklin Field to face the Temple Owls. It's been raining and storming here for the past 24 hours, but the sun has finally appeared, and we're moments away from what's expected to be a good, solid football game. Here comes the opening kickoff. Riley takes the football at the 11. Up over the 20, pushed out of bounds at the 24-yard line. Kendra drops back. He throws. Cut on the sidelines by Steve Lewis at the 40. The pitch goes to Paul Lumley. He turns the right corner. And he's out at the Temple 35. Kendra rolls left. He throws. Complete in the flat to Riley. Down over the 25 to the 20 and pushed out of bounds at the 17. Kendra fakes. He keeps. Down over the 15. The 10 to the 5. And he stopped a yard short of the goal line. Paul Lumley powers through the middle to put the Mountaineers on the scoreboard. 
Dan Kendra takes the snap, flips a pass to Steve Lewis. Lewis finds an opening. He's down over the 50 to the 40. Breaks a tackle at the 35. Lewis is going to go all the way for a West Virginia touchdown. A 60-yard pass and run for the second touchdown of the first quarter. Easily barrels over the middle. And finally dragged down in Temple territory. Third and one to go. Easily finds an opening on the right side. He's inside the five. Touchdown, Walter Easley. The Mountaineers lead 21 to nothing. Kendra with the ball. He's looking. He spots Bowden on the sideline. It's complete. Bowden's running across the field to the 40. And he goes to the Temple 45-yard line. It's a quick pitch to Duck Riley. Riley runs around left end. He's dancing along the sideline. Riley scores untouched. The Mountaineers explode. Kendra hits Bowden right on the letters. Touchdown, West Virginia. Fourth and ten for Temple. All right, here comes a Temple pass. And it's intercepted by Tommy Pridemore. Pridemore runs along the sideline. It's to the 40, to the 50. He evades a tackler at the 35. Uh-oh, he's pulled down at the Temple two-yard line. Rich Duggan is in a quarterback. He keeps it. Touchdown, West Virginia. The versatile sophomore from Parkersburg scores for the Mountaineers. Final score, West Virginia, 42, Temple, nothing. Well, you know, you go into every game, uh, there's one thing you never know about your football team, and that's how well you're going to execute out there. You go into every game, you're wondering if, if you're going to fumble or if you're going to have the interception or if you're going to have a breakdown in a kicking game because I've seen some real strange things happen. I've seen days you think, you're going to go out there and play well, and you go out and you fumble the ball, and you throw the interceptions, or you miss a lot of tackles, or you have a major breakdown in the kicking game. That, that's the unpredictable thing about football. You know, that, that's why it's a great game. Uh, I think it's one thing that influences my philosophy about what it takes to win. I think to win, you need to have a great defense, because there's one thing about a defense is when you put them out on the field, you know how they're going to play. Uh, they don't have to handle the ball. They don't have to execute the block. Defense is played with pride and enthusiasm. Just whip the blocker and get to the football. But offense requires a lot of people working together, uh, very intricate blocking up front, the handling of the football, throwing and catching. There's so many things that goes into the offensive phase of the game that uh, you need to have great execution. And I guess this is why it's very difficult for a team to go out there and week in and week out execute well offensively and win with their offense. That's why your great football teams are teams that play great defense. New Orleans, Louisiana, and the Superdome, where Bill McKenzie is set to kick off to the Tulane Green Wave. Tulane takes the football at the 13, and the play is stopped at the 27. Tulane in passing formation. And the pass is complete in the middle to Kramer. Bradmore can't get him. Kramer is moving. He's going to go all the way for a touchdown. This is West Virginia's first possession. Kendra looking to pass. And he hits one over the middle to freshman Cedric Thomas. The give is to Lumley up the middle, and he's over the 50-yard line. It's a play action fake to Lumley. Kendra's looking. He throws. Complete on a diving catch to tight end Ben McDay. Kendra is back in the pocket. Here's the pass to McDay again on the sideline. Dan Kendra pitches right to Lee Dow. Dow sweeps the right side to the five. 
Genra pitches to Dow again. But he stopped short of the goal line. The inside give is to Lumley. And he's over for the touchdown. Delane has the ball at the West Virginia 11. And there's a fumble. It's recovered by West Virginia defensive end Ken Braswell. The Mountaineers take possession. Kendra pumping, throwing. Complete to Cedric Thomas in the corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Mountaineers. Game is tied at 14 all. Tulane at the West Virginia 30. It's Charles grabbing the pass on the 50. There's a race for the end zone. Tulane scores and takes the lead by seven. Kendra on a rollout. The pass is complete to Lewis on the right side. Lewis is pulled out at the 42-yard line. Lumley bursts up the middle. He fights for a West Virginia first down. Paul Lumley has the handoff. He drives into the end zone for the score. West Virginia trails by three. Looney fakes. He pitches. But the West Virginia defense stops the sweep cold. Looney's back to pass. The rush is on. Looney is sacked by defensive end Fran Gleason. A 17-yard loss. West Virginia takes over. Kendra keeps. Down the right sideline to the 19. He has a 16-yard gain. Easily bursts up the middle to the five-yard line. It's Walter Easley again, and he's spinning to the two with under a minute to go. It's third and goal. Kendra the quarterback. Kendra keeps. He bobbles the ball, and it bounces back into his arms. Kendra's in for the touchdown. We win the game. West Virginia pulls out another cliffhanger. I think winning is very important. I think that's why you play the game. You go out there and you try to win. But I don't think winning is everything. To me, the most important thing is trying to win, making the effort, making the sacrifice. You know, you've got a lot of football players that want to play. They want to win. Now, will they make the sacrifice? Will they pay the price? Will they give you the commitment? To me, that's the most important thing. You give me a group of young men that will do what it takes. It will make the next necessary sacrifice, will make the commitment. They're going to be dependable, coachable, and they're going to give 100%. And if they do this, then this is all we can ask them as coaches. It's halftime at Pitt Stadium in Pittsburgh, where the number one ranked Pitt Panthers have taken a 14-3 lead over a battling young Mountaineer club. It's been a very hard-hitting game, so let's take a look at some of the defensive action in the first half. This is third quarter action. Rodriguez in motion. Kendra drops back. He finds Lewis in the middle of the Panther defense for a first down. Dan Kendra fakes. He keeps the football and he's down over the 10 to the six yard line. Kendra dropping back. He spots McDay in the end zone. Oh, so close. The snap. Kendra's looking. 
He throws to Steve Lewis, and it's a touchdown. West Virginia's back into the ball game. West Virginia trailing 14 to 10. Jack Cardoza will kick off. It's a squibber to Bobby Hutton. Hutton has trouble holding onto the football, and he's met by a host of Mountaineers. Dorset with the ball, stopped for only a two-yard gain. Third and four. Hand off to Tony Dorset. He goes nowhere. Chuck Smith makes the tackle. Dorset takes the pitch, runs to his left, breaks down the sideline. Nobody can get him, not even his own teammates. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. The Mountaineers refuse to quit. They battle back, and they find themselves at the pit 17. Third and goal for West Virginia. Kendra rolls right. He's looking. Kendra fires complete to Steve Lewis for a Mountaineer touchdown. The Mountaineers go for the two-point conversion. It's thrown wide. West Virginia misses the upset. We've got a real good nucleus of players returning. You know, we only graduated 11 seniors, and we were only playing six of them to any extent. And I think the big thing we need to do, we've got a lot of hard work to do this winter. Our players have got to get stronger, and they've got to get in that weight room. They've got to grow and get stronger physically. We'll do this. The thing we've got to do is we've got to get more speed into our program. We've got to do a great job of recruiting. We need to get more team speed. We need to get a little more physical. We need to get some bigger linemen in our program, and we need to get some great skilled players. I'm talking about a great running back. I'm talking about a great wide receiver that can run and make big plays. We need to get some big play people on defense, a, a great cornerback, a great linebacker, uh, another great defensive lineman, particularly at the defensive end position. And as I look at our program and our football team, the nucleus of players we have returning, I really believe we're about three or four real fine football players away from having a real good football team here at West Virginia University. This is Mountaineer Field in Morgantown, and the season finale against the Syracuse Orangemen. Beautiful football weather, and a full house crowd awaits the kickoff, which is moments away. All of West Virginia's graduating seniors have been named co-captains for the game, which is expected to be a wide-open affair. Syracuse wins the toss and will receive. Jack Cardoza kicks off for the Mountaineers. It's a low slider. Picked up at the 13. And the Orangemen return the ball to the 30-yard line. Hurley with the football, running through the right side of the Mountaineer defense. He's nailed from behind at the 34. Syracuse has a man in motion. Hurley takes the snap. He's trapped by senior tackle Chuck Smith. No gain. The Orangemen try a 48-yard field goal. But it falls short of the uprights. West Virginia takes over the football. The pitch goes to Woods. Woods cuts over the 30 to the 36-yard line. Wayne Woods again, this time up the middle. He's over the 40 to the Syracuse 43. It's a crucial fourth and two play. Kendra takes the ball, fakes inside. He pitches to Woods on the left. Woods running hard. He sweeps wide. Woods going for the score on a 21-yard touchdown run. This 
Scores tied 7-7. Kendra back looking to pass. It's caught on the sideline by Tom Bowden. First down, Mountaineers. Here's a quick pitch to Woods. He's down over the 35 to the 25, brought down at the 19. Third and goal to go for West Virginia. Cedric Thomas in motion. Kendra takes. He rolls out. He fires. Touchdown, West Virginia. Who else but Steve Lewis? Dan Kendra has the snap. He drops back. He unloads one. Complete to freshman Cedric Thomas at the Orange 48. Easily with a handoff. Walter finds daylight inside the 15. He crashes to the 10. Kendra rolling out for West Virginia. There's Steve Lewis in the end zone. Touchdown, Mountaineers. First and 10, Syracuse. The handoff goes to Vaughn. There's a fumble. West Virginia recovers. Ken Braswell comes up with the football. And the Mountaineers take over. Walter Easley has the handoff. He gallops over the middle to the 13. First and goal to go. Easley powers into the line. He's over for another Mountaineer touchdown. If Bill McKenzie makes this 36-yard field goal attempt, he'll tie a school record. McKenzie kicks. It's good. He ties the record. 12 field goals in one season. Got down on the scoreboard. Two, one. That's it. The Mountaineers win their final game over the Syracuse Orangemen. West Virginia, five and six on the season, looks forward to an exciting campaign in 77 as 15 season starters return. Until September 10th, this is Jack Fleming saying so long from Mountaineer Field in Morgantown. <laughs>